Hey, this is James from Mission, and today we're going to program an Eventide H9 for use with an expression pedal on the Mac. Ready? Let's go. The first thing we're going to need to do is install the H9 control app on the Mac. So let's head over to eventideaudio.com and then I'm going to hover over live H9 control click on that that takes me to the H9 control page and over here is a section docs and downloads so we'll click on that and then up here are the versions of software that are available for the different operating systems we're a Mac here and there are two versions so I need to find out which version I have so we'll click on the Apple in the top left hand corner and about this Mac that tells me that I have 10.11.4 installed and so we'll download this version here which is for 10.10 and above we'll click on download and now that's downloading the software and I'll come back as soon as it's done okay so the downloads finished and here's the h9control.dmg file so we're going to double click on that and that will install the h9 control software onto the mac Okay, so H9 Control is now installed and there are several different ways you can connect the H9 to the Mac. I have it configured with a USB connection right now and so when I bring the app up, it detects the device through the USB connection here. If you don't have a USB connection or if you want to connect a different way, you can just click on Devices and then here are the different mechanisms which you can connect. You can connect via MIDI if you have a MIDI connection between your computer and the H9 or you can connect via Bluetooth but we're going to stick with the USB for now. If you want to access all the remote control features of the H9 you'll need to have an account. If you don't have one you can create one here or if you already have one you can log in here. Okay, after you've logged in, H9 Control starts up with the algorithm screen here, and then along the bottom are all the different settings groups. One of the first things you want to do is check the version of software that you have on the system. So we'll go to Pedal, and here's where we can update the firmware on the H9 in the section that says Update Stompbox's Software. So we'll click on that, and then it's checking to see what we have. You can see that we have the latest version already installed, 5.3.0.4, which is the latest version. If you need to update it, you can click on Install Software here. And if you need to replace the software on there, if you just need to reinstall this update, you can do that too. So let's do that now just so you can see how it's done.
Okay, so now we've got the software updated, let's set up the software for an expression pedal. So we're going to click on pedal and general settings. And then down here is the expression pedal and switch settings. So we'll click on that. And this gives you the three available options. The first is expression pedal. If you're just using a conventional TRS expression pedal by itself, this is the setting that you'll select here. If you're using a TRS expression pedal, you won't be able to use any of the AUX switch functions because all of the available pins on the TRS connection are taken up with that expression pedal. If you're not using an expression pedal and just using an auxiliary switch, you can use up to three auxiliary switches and you'll just select that setting here. And in this case, we're using the Mission SPH9, which is both an expression pedal and a switch. So we're going to select both. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other settings that we have available. So I'll click back. And then we have three others that are for configuring the expression pedal. We have pedal calibration disabled, map expression pedal to input volume, and map expression pedal to output volume. The H9 has the ability to calibrate automatically to the type of expression pedal that's connected. You can turn that capability off here, but generally I'd recommend that you keep that enabled. You also have the ability to set the pedal up to be a volume pedal instead of an effects control pedal. And you can set that volume pedal to be either at the beginning of the signal chain, which is the input volume, or the end of the signal chain, which is the output volume. The difference is that if you set it to input volume, it will behave rather like the guitar volume control. And that means that you'll keep the reverb tails and delays when you turn the volume down. If you prefer the pedal to act as a master volume control and just turn everything off, then you can map the expression to the output volume here. Okay, that's about it for this time. In this video, we installed H9 control on the Mac. We updated the H9 pedal to the latest firmware and we configured the software for the Mission SPH9 expression pedal. In the next video, we'll cover configuring the H9 so the expression pedal can control pitch, delay repeats, mix, and other settings. If you have any questions about the Mission SPH9, you can contact info at missionengineering.com. Or if you have any questions for me personally, you can reach me at james at missionengineering.com. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.